Hi guys, day number 19 and today I want to talk about hair conditioner. Um, actually just paid it attention recently after I finished this one during the time of my vlogging. And L'Oreal, Paris, 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 Paris. Uh, the face of this brand used to be a model, Sarah Mille Bernard, who once I gave an interview to and then I realized when I saw the image and it's just like, you know, that, that puzzle or the, the girl from the commercial. So I actually asked her for an interview myself. And as a person, she also collects plastic separately. Uh, so, and then I was curious about how photo shoots are usually held and if they become more ethical and sustainable, of course it depends on people, but she said there is a tendency, like people try to avoid using plastic stuff, which is like uh, for one use only, like cutlery or plastic plates. I hope so, that sounds like nice. Um, talking about hair conditioning, I actually found this once in a while, I brought it back, I've never used, uh, maybe it's just a habit, you know? to take the stuff back from the hotel and I'm not going to do it anymore officially said on camera um, just because it's plastic um, I still need to find the substitution uh, because I was told that you can use vinegar to rinse your hair I failed to find any vinegar without a plastic lid on it so maybe still going for gloss but then having a plastic lid is a better option because it's smaller in comparison to this size and amount of plastic which is actually as far as we know already is only meant to be used once and all the bottles from beauty products are thrown away immediately after they empty this one is going to be recycled promised so that's it for today it was all about hair conditioning I'm still looking for the substitution um, I hope that in Berlin I can find the vinegar with the metal lid. Anyways, I'm being positive. So stop complaining about the condition of my hair. Just look for the substitution, maybe some oils. But to avoid those that make our hair look greasy. But then I was told that if you actually go for shampoo, poo movement, like not stop using shampoo, and they say for the first months it's tough and they do look like a bit crazy so but after a while your the skin of your head gets used to it so it's less grease is produced i'm looking forward to that traveling shampoo free traveling hair conditioning free we will see what it will bring my hair to i hope i wouldn't need to shave it after all thank you so much and see you tomorrow Bye.